This Mesonet revealed video will explain how to make maps displaying long-term averages of Mesonet weather observations. Understanding past trends and weather patterns often play a key role in making informed business and personal decisions. The Long-Term Averages Map Maker tool lets you view monthly Oklahoma Mesonet data across the entire state. This really lets you see regional weather trends. You can also choose to view statewide data over a season or year. Here is an example demonstrating the value of such a robust network. This is a map of total rainfall in July 2012. Notice the significant difference between the Minko site and the Norman site. While they're only 30 miles apart, the Minko station received four and a half more inches of rain that month. Now let's see how to make a map like this one. From the Mesonet's homepage, click on Weather. Then click on Past Data and Files. Now click on the Mesonet Long-Term Averages Maps icon. The default map shows the average temperature for the current month. To make your own map, first select the year and time period you're interested in by clicking on the drop-down menus here. You can choose a specific year or the average of the past 15 years. Next, choose a month, a season, or year. Then choose a weather observation you're interested in by clicking on the Select a Product menu. We'll pick Total Rainfall. We'll go over Departure from Normal in a moment. Finally, click on Display Map. A map based on the parameters you selected will be generated. This is the same rainfall map from earlier. Now, let's take a look at the hottest summer on record, 2011. First, choose 2011, then for the time period, select Summer. The product we are looking at is the average maximum temperature. Now click Display Map. Focus on southwest Oklahoma. That's hot, but Oklahoma summers are usually hot, so let's compare it to the average. Click on the box next to Departure from 2000 to 2014 Average. Now click Display Map. We can see that temperatures in that region for the 2011 summer were around 10 degrees above average. In fact, the entire state was above average. Now let's see how the 2014 summer shaped up. Except for Kenton in the western part of the Panhandle, the entire state's temperature was below average. Now let's investigate the highly variable nature of rainfall in Oklahoma. Choose Spring 2014. Then Total Rainfall for the product. Check the box for Departure from 2000 to 2014 Average. Then click Display Map. It's easy to see that most places in Oklahoma received less rainfall as compared to normal. Now, change the time period to Summer and click Display Map. In general, most places were above average. However, we can see that some places were well above average while others were well below. The McAllister site was 7 inches above the average, while just 45 miles away, the Okima site was 3.75 inches below average. When this video was made, it was possible to create 27,350 maps using this tool, and that number will only go up as time goes on. For more information about Mesonet or meteorology, click here to contact us. Thank you for watching.